Hello and welcome from the Philippines. We made it to the Philippines, guys. Before we travel to the island. Well, another island, which is paradise. That's so exciting. Thank you so much, and if you're still sticking around. We are here on the island of Malapasta. This is a diver's paradise. So this video is going to be everything that we've done here in Malapasta and my recommendations for food and things to do. So give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and let's get straight into it. This beautiful island is only 2.5 kilometers by 1 kilometer in size, which is 30 times smaller than its neighboring island Bantayan. So by scale, it's pretty small. It truly is a haven for island lovers and is extremely famous for being the only place to be able to dive with thresher sharks all year around. So how do you start the journey? You start in Cebu City, take a bus or a minivan from the North Bus Terminal and head to Maya Port. Once you arrive at the port, you then head on a little boat onto the island. I have a full lowdown of this on my TikTok so head on over there. Now you're ready to explore the island and you can do so by foot or you can get a ride from the locals which is 50 pesos each way. The south is where the most of the accommodation is located with also a few in the north. There are small convenience stores on the island and lots and lots of fur babies for you to fall in love with. Cats, dogs, goats, chickens, whatever tickles your fancy and the kids here are just the happiest and the most friendly they will honestly melt your heart <laughs> what's your name louise what's your name ray john there is a bike behind me so i'm just going to stop here oh, jesus another one as you can see there are only motorbikes on the island. There is no cars or anything like that because it is such a small island. There's not even any roads or anything on the island either. So, Because there are no cars, they just have little alleyways like this which you can get really easily lost in. So just be prepared. But let's start off with my favourite topic of conversation, food. Honestly, there are so many places on the island for food, but let's start off with the north. This is Tablea Cafe. They have pretty good signage and you can search the location on Google Maps. We came here for a coffee in the morning before 9am and they have such an authentic Filipino feel with shells hanging as decorations and the coffee here was pretty good too. Give it a try. Oh, that's good. And there is more. There are island doggos just waiting to be loved and petted as you overlook the North Beach. So if you are visiting the North and exploring here, this is somewhere that I would definitely recommend that you have a look at. Try their food, try their drinks and just chill as you overlook the beach. Next up, I would recommend a Villa's Horizon Dive Resort. The sizzling seasick here was so good and the sandwiches are also so tasty and it's right on the beachfront. Located a street over from the pier, JB Bros is a great little pit stop for an iced coffee during your adventure around the island. Now let's head to the south and to the night market. This is a must visit whilst you are here in Malapascua as you can get the freshest of freshest seafood you will ever have and everything is very well priced price too. We ate at Little Mermaid. If you want a restaurant with the most amazing views of Bounty Beach and sizzling plates, this one is definitely for you. So we ordered the beef adobo, a side of rice, of course. We also ordered some fries and here comes the masterpiece. We got the sizzling squid and look at this. It is literally sizzling, sizzling. Everything was super yummy and it was all very good value for money. Good. 
Take it back. This is Kokai's restaurant. You can come here for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and you can't miss it because it's bright yellow and they do amazing food. So if you're looking for pizza, this is your place. The dough can be a little on the thicker side, but the flavors are so good. And not to mention, they also do live music, which is always a bonus. But my favorite place, honestly, is just the street food in the Philippines. We actually found this little stand just exploring in the evening. If you walk along from the pier and take the second left street, you'll find this little stand. There's literally just him and his barbecue. <laughs> you want some too? Okay. Oh. As this island is pretty small, there's not so much to do on the actual island itself. So here are the things that I would recommend doing. So you can do an island tour and it takes three to four hours and it takes you around the main sites around the island itself. So you start off at the coral garden. Here there are lots of fish and the coral is pretty healthy compared to other places that I've seen but there are lots and lots of little fish around here and then you head to another little section of rocks essentially and you swim during the high tide because otherwise you'll just be rocks and then the most magical part wait for it you swim with baby black tip sharks this is located towards the west of the island and Honestly, this was such a magical moment. There were so many of them and this is definitely a must. You can do this independently or you can go on an island tour like we did and you don't pay any fees for going on this because you do need to pay fees if you just come off the beach just because it is a protected marine sanctuary. And as you can see, there are so many, so many sharkies. But I am going to leave you to watch this little bit here because this is the rest of the island tour and the only other thing is the Japanese shipwreck that we got to see. As I mentioned at the start of this vlog, for all you diving enthusiasts or if you're like me and Sean who just got our open water certification last year and are pretty new to the diving game, this is something that you can tick off your bucket list, swimming with thresher sharks. It's a pretty surreal experience and I'm so bummed I didn't get a chance to dive with them because I had the worst cold. And if you know you can't dive with the sinus issues as you can't equalize and you risk actually bursting your eardrum but this is a must 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 and you don't need your advanced diving certificate if that's what you were thinking
talk sunrise. I know it's super, super early to get up. However, it is such an amazing thing to do when you're on holiday. And the best sunrise spot here in Malapascua is anywhere on Bounty Beach. We actually watched a sunrise from our balcony, which overlooks Bounty Beach. And it was honestly so beautiful. So I would definitely recommend just one day in your holiday to get up for the sunrise and just watch it on Bounty Beach. Let's talk sunset. The sunset is probably one of my favourite time of the day and we watched the sunset towards the end of our island tour as I mentioned earlier and it was honestly so perfect. We got some tandoai and drank it with the locals on the boat and it was honestly so beautiful. Or what you can do is you can also head to Tepany Resort. They have sun loungers which you can pay for or if you just get there early you can grab a table closest to the beach and this is a great spot to watch the sunset and have a bottle of beer. So enjoy! As for accommodation, as I mentioned previously, most of them can be found in the south. They range from budget to luxury. A lot of these hotels are dive resorts, so if you are a diver or want to learn, this is a pretty good place for it. We stayed at Blue Corals Resort located on Bounty Beach. It's only a five minute walk from the pier and close to restaurants and everything that you need. It included breakfast, which was very filling and super tasty. Not to mention they also have dogs on the resort. This is Toffee and he was faking having a paw injury here. And our room had an amazing view of Bounty Beach and is perfect for the sunrise. I would definitely recommend staying here, but the only reason I wouldn't is because the Wi-Fi is pretty much non-existent. You only get connection in the restaurant area, so it's really hard to do any work here but anywhere on Bounty Beach I would recommend as it is accessible to a lot of restaurants and shops so if it is your first time on the island this would be a great place to stay. I wanted to add this bit as a little extra on the end because I would definitely recommend doing this if you have the opportunity on the island. I did a feeding program at Villa Potencia and it was such an amazing afternoon spent with the kids and it was so heartwarming. We also had the opportunity to give back to the island and do a beach cleanup in the afternoon. It was such a good way to meet people and other travellers and also it was just such an icing on the cake for me. It made my experience here in Malapascua very special and I definitely recommend doing it. I've got my fan because it's really hot right now. It is only like 10 to 9 at the moment but... I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope it has been helpful for you. The island itself is really, really small, so you can like walk around it. But if you wanted to see a bit more of the island and get there quicker and stuff, I would I would recommend using the motorbikes just because it's, it's actually fun. a really fun way to see the island as well. It's yeah, it's a lot of fun. So any other bits? Maybe I would say we actually didn't get a massage on the island, but when you're on Bounty Beach or are like a couple of places there it's like legend it's called legend bar legend massage masseuse place but then there's also one behind further behind i'll insert it here what the name is um and it's really cool it has like very like bali vibes to that one so those are the only ones i've really seen on the island however there's another one begins with t it's like um not too far from where the baby sharks are it's oh, tepany yeah. Tepany Beach. 300 pesos for one hour, apparently. That's what one of the girls that I met when I was diving said. Okay. So there's that one as well. Insert it here if I can find it. And honestly, wherever you kind of eat, it is good. I think I would just recommend kind of trying a few places like we have. But my top picks are the ones that I have already mentioned. Honestly, this island is so beautiful. There's so many kind of like hidden places, like cafes, everything is mostly in the south and um, that's where most of the things are located but up here in the north there are a few cafes and like 
resorts and stuff as well so if you did just kind of want to walk around then yeah it's a very beautiful place to do that and lots of snorkeling spots that are just off the beach as well and lots of puppies so many puppies here on the island and little kittens and cats so if you are an animal lover you will honestly love it here but also kind of breaks your heart a wee bit because there are so many of them and they're all mostly strays if you did enjoy this video please give this video a big thumb up don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss out on any more of my upcoming videos here in the Philippines and beyond. I'll see you in my next one.